<laughs> After completing my combat robot, I competed in BattleBot Sweden. My friend and I started BattleBot Sweden to get more people excited about combat robots and robotics in general. Also, there are no other combat robots events in Sweden, so we had to make our own. I was really excited to see all the competing robots and all the curious people in the audience. My first match was going to be against my friend, so I knew it was going to be a tough one. As you can see, my opponent is a lot quicker than me, but I think my spinner has a longer reach than his. I managed to get a good hit on his right wheel, which made him unable to move forward. In the end, I was still able to drive around and my weapon was sort of working. This resulted in my first win. My second match was against this spinning robot, which was hitting really hard. After this big hit, he was unable to move and I could finish him off. In the finals, I met this wedge kind of robot. Unfortunately, since my robot was so slow, I was not able to get around him. And he could just push me around the arena. In the end, unfortunately, my weapon got so hot that it melted through the plastic and my weapon was destroyed, earning him the win. <laughs> the event was a success and it was a lot of fun. We had already planned the next event. And I had a few ideas of things I could improve. I wanted the robot to be faster. And also, I wanted the horizontal spinner to hit lower. I developed my own robot controller, which could control the weapon and all the motors. It was also able to be controlled by an Xbox controller. Lastly, I added a big heatsink and fan to the motor of the weapon, so that it wouldn't overheat again. With those changes, I felt ready for the next BattleBot Sweden. My first match was against a robot that I competed against at the last event. Last time I won, but since then we both have upgraded our robots. Here my robot got hit and I landed upside down. Fortunately, my flipper arm was working great. After this big hit, unfortunately my robot lost its weapon. So there wasn't much I can do in this fight, since he was still going strong. And in the end, I surrendered. After a match, I tried to repair my robot. But unfortunately, a component on my motor controller had broken. And I didn't have a replacement part. I did compete in a second match, but without a weapon, there's not much you can do. Instead, I focused more on the other robots, and there were a couple of really interesting matches. This was the final match, and since the white robot beat me last time, 
I was cheering for the other robot, which my friend had built. My friend's robot managed to get some good hits on his opponent, eating away at his plastic. In the end, the white robot's battery was hit, and my friend's robot was the winner. There will be another BattleBot Sweden tournament later this year, and I'm planning on making a new robot for that event. I hope we will see more awesome robots next time. Thanks for watching.